Christmas stocking. And so I'm going to start about there. And I want to do this at an angle. And it's going to come kind of around like that with a heel. So it's kind of straight down. It's like a box with a circle coming that way and a sort of a curve coming that way. And then we want to put the kind of furry top on as well. And we want to hang it up with a hook. So let's just draw this out very quickly. And I'm going to draw this in a very kind of furry kind of way. And I'll just speed through this. And then I'm going to draw a little nail hanging on the wall. And then we'll have the uh, little cord holding it on. And then we just need to come down and then nice and smoothly go all the way around like that and maybe just bring it in slightly and then when you're absolutely sure the ink is dry you can erase those pencil lines and while you're doing that you can click that subscribe button <laughs> make sure you're subscribed to draw stuff real easy and then i'm going to use this this has got a, a china marker so this makes it easy because it's it's nice and kind of like a pencil but you could do this with a, a wax candle or something like that uh, and it's kind of acting as a, a resist so what i'm doing is i'm you can't see it can you but what i'm actually doing is i'm drawing little stars and these little stars are sort of just little lines coming from the edge so i'm doing the edges first and along there as well you can't see what's going on and if i do that i can shade it so I can see it, you might see it. And then I'm going to do these kind of crisscross stars. And so if you're doing this with, you could do, as I say, with a wax candle, or if you can get one of these white china markers, that makes it really good. And then you're going to find this works absolutely best with nice red watercolor. So I've got my watercolor paints here. Oh, and, and as you paint over then, the China wax marker obviously sort of acts as a non-water as, as a waterproof kind of thing. So the water just and the colour just glide over it, and you get that fantastic star pattern shining through from underneath. Now, when you're painting with watercolour, it's always best to um, let one colour dry or oh, haven't quite there, so you can see it's gone a bit purpley. And I'm just going to. Dib dab that in there on the side there, just to give it that kind of furry kind of look. That was blue. And I'm going to just add a little bit of grey uh, to that blue. And I'm going to bring this down here like that. This is to put a kind of a shadow on here. A kind of a Christmas Eve shadow hanging on the wall, waiting for Santa to come and fill that stocking up with goodies. And we can have a bit there as well. And... I think we probably want to have a red ribbon holding it up as well. And there you go, how to draw a Christmas stocking real easy.